Welcome back everyone. Today we're diving into the world of truck inspections and some crucial things you need to know when you're on the road. This video is brought to you by FMCSAregistration.com, the number one online service provider for the transportation industry. They help motor carriers, truck drivers, and brokers across the United States with FMCSA registration compliance. Make sure to check out FMCSAregistration.com. Let's start with a key point often overlooked, airlines. These aren't just hoses, they're the lifelines connecting your tractor to the trailer. Inspectors at scale houses are on the lookout for violations, and one common issue they find is fraying in the fiber webbing that reinforces these hoses. If they see any fraying, it's an immediate out-of-service violation. Even minor bulges can lead to similar outcomes, so always keep your airlines in top shape. Electrical lines or pigtails are another area of concern. If there's tape covering damage, inspectors might remove it to see what's underneath. Remember, if your brake lights or other essential functions aren't working because of these lines, it can put you out of service. It's always best to get any damage fixed promptly. If you are operating without a USDOT number or need assistance in trucking registration services, click the link below to access our website and get same-day help. Now, let's talk about the different levels of truck inspections. There are three levels you should be familiar with. One, level one inspection. This is the most thorough. It involves checking the truck, cargo, paperwork, and more. You'll drive onto a ramp and inspectors will even check brakes and go underneath the vehicle. Second level two, inspection. A bit less intrusive, this one checks cargo securement, lights, tires, and documents, but skips the brake test and undercarriage. Third level three, inspection. Here, the focus is on the driver rather than the truck. Inspectors will check your license, registration, and logs. Lights are another big focus during inspections. From headlights to license plate lights, Every light installed by the manufacturer must be functional. Even if you've never been cited for a license plate light, it's technically a violation if it's not working. Finally, let's touch on securing cargo. Any hooks or attachments used must be in pristine condition. Inspectors will check for any damage and using damaged areas for securing cargo can lead to violations. So there you have it, a quick rundown of some essential inspection pointers. Remember, Keeping your truck in compliance is not just about avoiding fines, it's about safety for you and everyone on the road. If you need help navigating FMCSA regulations, FMCSAregistration.com is here to assist you.